you are conscious of a thing when it dominates your thoughts did you hear that you are only conscious of a thing when it has gained dominance over your thoughts that means your thinking has been influenced by that reality now it has come to a realm of consciousness look up please how many of you have gone to any embassy whatsoever don't lift your hands maybe to go and apply for a visa American Embassy UK Embassy you know how you think about it all through the night you've thought about it if for any reason you wake up what is on your mind you are imagining I'm standing before the consular now this dress I'm wearing no I'll change it I don't want trouble I need to get this visa you see how your whole day some of you it affects your mood you are not able to eat till you return and it's not like it's a doctor that said you should not eat you are just thinking that thing has happened as a result of meditation you literally see yourself you've never been to the embassy say you don't even know how it looks like yet your mind is so powerful your mind will simulate a consular officer standing there and yourself answering all kinds of questions that is how you are into that project let me tell you the truth those who build anything great are not just those who have wishful thinking they have become immersed into the thing that drives them the Bible calls it the zeal of the Lord that the zeal of the Lord can consume a man are we together to a point where what dominates your thoughts is the reality of that truth according to Scripture all through while Jesus walked upon the earth he kept talking about the purpose for which he came he kept talking about the fact that he was going to die he will be buried what kind of a man keeps talking about his death you will call it negative confession it was not negative confession jesus kept repeating i'm going to die oh and i will come back to life again to the point that peter rebuked him and said stop saying all these things the reason why many people cannot become and they cannot manifest realities is that they have not taken the truths of scripture and meditated upon it until it moved past the realm of just information and sunk into your spirit something happens to a man when the word of God becomes spirit and life it occupies your consciousness you cannot be separated from that truth again you have so believed it you have become one with it are we together now yes this is very powerful you have become one with that belief you can't deny it again you can't betray it again the way you know that light has not entered your consciousness is that the moment it does not work you are in a you are in a hurry to divorce it because you never truly believed it hallelujah so if for instance someone is a giver and you just hear one message against giving you say thank god i've been looking you never believed in giving never 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 consciousness when you get to that point the day you meditate on your being anointed one day as you are opening the scripture light it will no longer be thou anointest my head with oil that is stories a day will come something will leap upon you and whether you are sleeping whether you are wearing a pajamas or on jean or on suit the consciousness not just by shouting and saying i'm anointed it's a settled reality let me tell you with all humility i sat down with this book and as i meditated upon it it didn't happen every day but one day certain things just entered my spirit so this is how much power the believer can carry it says you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth when I saw it I don't know if I believed it the first time I was just sincerely reading the Bible but one day light entered me the true spirit of dominion that there is no territory that sustains the power to fight your influence if you have not carried the consciousness of certain things you will only be a victim your mind will be swinging from left to right 
One day I meditated on the scripture that says, whatsoever he doeth prospers. Now, let me tell you, that looks like a simple story. Oh yes, whatsoever he doeth prospers, amen. That, no, you have not gotten it. You act on that thing, it will never work for you. He shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of waters. One day is by 2 a.m. in the morning. This is you. Shama kaparakata You are meditating on that thing. Whatsoever he doeth prospers. You look at your hands. Whatsoever he doeth prospers. Whatsoever he doeth prospers. It will make sense to you in a way that will annoy somebody close to you because they don't know what has entered you. Whatsoever he doeth prospers. From that day, you will never fail in anything again because it has entered your consciousness. This is what it means in Ezekiel 2 and verse 2. And the spirit entered into me. The spirit of any revelation if it has not entered you, you will keep gyrating. This is the problem with the body of Christ. We shout over revelations that have not moved past the realm of knowledge into your consciousness. In thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. I meditated on that scripture and I came to a conclusion that I cannot be a cause to my world. In thee shall the families of the earth be blessed where i come from notwithstanding is is a blessing that god gave to abraham and his seed and galatians 3 29 says and if ye be christ's then are ye abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise so he's talking about me i am a blessing if i come to your house i am a blessing some things must leave and some things must come if i shake hands with you it's not pride some things must leave and some things must come if you listen to me, some things must leave and some things must come. It's a consciousness. It's not about empty boasting. You can be shouting and the realm of the spirit will say, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. But who are you? This is what great men like Bishop Oyedeko meditated upon. And he said, God told him he canceled his ministrations. And he said, get down and make my people rich. Now, that may, a lot of people find it offensive. That's why he didn't say it to everybody. He said it to the one who can believe him. Mm. Hallelujah. This is what I believe. Oh. This reading things randomly. When the spirit of revelation comes to you, eh, you can stay on one scripture for one week. It's not a competition to finish the Bible. It's that one scripture that has a treasure that defines the next 10 years of your life. You stay there till the spirit of that word. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall. He never said I shall not want money. If all you are thinking about is money, it's a sign that you are thinking carnally. I shall not want. This is the realm of sufficiency. I shall not want men. I shall not want things. I shall not want influence. No. This revelation damages insufficiency forever. Never will you be without help. If God sends you to America, you shall not want. If he sends you to Europe, you shall not want. If he brings you to Abuja, you shall not want. You are crying simply because you do not know. You are wanting. Even though you are reading the scripture, it is not yet in your consciousness. Take it higher for me. We will pray until we are changed. We will pray until we are changed. We will pray until we are changed. We are changed. We are changed. We will stay until we are changed.
listen. Can I tell you the truth? There is nothing you can do with a man that has caught light beyond the book. If it has entered that realm of consciousness, only death can stop it from happening. It's a, it's a realm where it is settled. No matter what you say or do not say, as far as that result happening, it's a realm. Listen, this is a reality that both science and religion tell you that controls manifestation. The realm of consciousness. Listen, let me tell you the truth. Still take it high for me. There are things I believe I can never be a victim of till Jesus comes. And this is not empty talk. I have stayed with scripture until that thing, one of it is that I can never lack the help of men. No. No. It's not because I'm anointed. It's the revelation that brought that anointing. This thing you see, this grace called favor that you are shouting. You read it, you will never get it. it that's not how it works. We will stay until we are found. We will stay until we are found. We will stay until we are found. When God called me into ministry, I took time to pray. One of the things I covenanted with God with was that I did not want to manipulate God's people because of this money thing. I saw sincere, well-meaning people who love the Lord. But once you are pushed by the pressure of ministry, you will do things you never planned doing. But I know that I have to eat. And the implication of ministry is that you will feed many people. You will be like Father Abraham, having many children, your own and the ones that have forced themselves to be your own. And I said, God, I don't want to tell people lies. I had great men like Bishop Oyedeko, great men like my dear revered mentor, Dr. Miles Munro, they talked about the potency of walking in the blessings of God. While others were there arguing in pride with no result, I said, God, you can't be lying. Please show me. I confess my ignorance. I have read this thing, but it's not working. There are human beings in the world, but nobody's looking my direction. I don't need to go to a herbalist. There is a way. Kai, Job said there is a path which no fowl has seen that the whelps of the lion has not gotten there. When I caught that revelation of I shall not want, I said, this is it. And God is able to make all grace. If you think what prospers men is business, get ready to suffer till Jesus comes. Now, I'm not, I'm not against those things. Don't get me wrong. But first things first, the realm of the spirit is what controls the physical realm. But when you hold it there, bah, that's it. You've held it. You've held it. It's true. The same thing with the ministry of the spirit, the anointing. I saw great people that I admired walking in dimensions of the anointing. And I said, there has to be a way. I got all the teachings and the materials. I don't want to do a ministry speaking to people and they're shouting amen. Coming week after week, making sacrifices and then they don't testify. That is evil and is wicked. In fact, it's fraud. I said, I don't want that kind of thing. Father, show me the secret to real power. Real, genuine power. I have found David, my servant. Ah, So God can find men, but until he finds his servant, he will not anoint you. God can find Joshua Selman, but he's looking for his servant. For as long as you are still Joshua Selman, that oil will not come to your head until you become his servant. The anointing is not for men of God. The anointing is for servants. Genuine people who love Jesus beyond their reputation, who want to see him glorified. You see. 
you know why sometimes you hear me tell these guys to play these things this is not it's not a movie one day I was meditating on scripture and the Lord took me to the story of Elisha he said bring me a mistral and while the mistral played he said the hand of the Lord came upon him and he began to prophesy then he says I will reveal my dark sayings upon the heart it may not work for everyone but that is how light came to me I valued divine presence when I meditated on the scripture Moses said do not send us from here if your presence I'm showing you how to manifest realities what provided what you are doing is just reading the Bible to ease the guilt of feeling less spiritual you will never never produce anything potent he said if your presence will not go with us and then here's what he said he said my presence will go with you and I will give you rest I said that's the key to rest the presence of God I remember in 2005 I spent a major part of that year doing a research on Jewish worship and the mystery of God's presence. I wanted to know what was it about Jewish worship and God's presence. That's when you saw that I started falling in love with all this kind of Paul Wilbur songs, King of Kings, we hail you most high. All these songs that came laid down by the Spirit because I found out that there was a connection to these kinds of songs and the Spirit of God and the Shekinah of God. Listen, you must move past the realm of just reading scripture and get it to your consciousness. It will take time, but allow the spirit of God move it. Stay in your one room and read the scripture on how God brings men out. The day it enters your spirit, you will know. The devil will know. Everything around you will know. And like a magnet, it will start drawing from anywhere on earth the men and the circumstances that must make that word become reality in your life i assure you on this listen hear me the day the power to prosper through meditation comes on you right where you are you know how and you know how explosions happen a nuclear bomb huh that's how it will, from your place, it's like an explosion in your spirit. It will gravitate everything that must make that revelation true in your life. And it will bring it to your life. It is true. Sometimes it's difficult to teach these things because people mistaken it for pride. But by the privilege of God's grace, you see, we have proven these things and will prove it again and again and again. Your consciousness the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want it doesn't stop there but that is the springboard the Lord not my ability the Lord here's how many of us interpret it my brain is my shepherd I shall not want <laughs> no. the Lord the journey to lasting wealth starts with the Lord. It does not ignore your mind. It does not ignore your value. But it is the Lord. Because he must be Alpha and Omega. Are we together? Sit down. Let me give you the third. For someone, let me give you a little assignment. Just lay your hand gently on your head. I want you to think of one scripture by the Spirit that you know. There are many scattered in the Bible, but one bailout scripture that you need to meditate upon until light enters your spirit. For some of you, is thou anointest my head, thou anointest my ministry. Are you seeing that ministry anointed rising from where it is? Are you seeing yourself rising? As a father of nations, 
you may not be physically called Abraham but ladies and gentlemen when what God told Abraham enters you nothing will keep you down you just do what I'm asking you to do and you see a miracle that is happening to your spirit man you're a businessman take away your mind from your brain and look unto Jesus some of you are in ministry you have struggled and struggled it's not an issue of struggling there is a consciousness for as long as there are 8 billion people on earth everybody will not tell God no he can fish help for you from everywhere there are some of you the revelation for you should be that God is the one who gives you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places mm. I am the Lord that teacheth thy hands to prosper I am the Lord that teacheth thy hands to prosper you have to be taught no it's not your ability you are taught you just take a minute to meditate on this some of you is that meditation that will cure you from causes forever raised up with him out of every tribe out of every tongue even the worship of the dead yes people were buried in my village but have been exalted exalted beyond every curse exalted beyond every charm any enchantment for someone the revelation for you is no weapon formed against you formed in the secret formed by the conspiracy of men no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper for another surely they shall gather but because they are gathering of not of the Lord they will scatter as much as they have gathered they will come in one way and be dispersed in seven ways hallelujah in Jesus name hear me Psalm 119 from verse 97 to 99 let's hurry up Psalm 119 97 to 99 Meditation involves hearing. Meditation involves speaking. Meditation involves the power of your imagination. All of them have to come into play as you meditate. Oh, how I love thy law, he says. They, or oh, it is my meditation. How long? The psalmist, all the day, my meditation. Verse 98. Thou through your commandment has made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. Last verse. I have more understanding than my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. The secret to my conviction, my meditation, he's saying, or my persuasion, is that I have meditated on that reality. You see, one of the ways you meditate is to repeat thoughts again and again and again. It's a practice till today. Till today. I can play a teaching, play a message, play scriptures, play verses again and again. Sometimes I make declarations myself and record it prophetic declarations myself and I put it on repeat while I sleep there are times I want to focus on just two verses I meditate on those two verses I first quote them and then make prophetic declarations by myself they are in my phone and I play it on repeat whether I'm awake or sleeping sometimes I'm doing my study and they are playing the goal is not awareness. I'm transporting it to a realm. When it lands that realm, I know that I'm ready for the next step. I've shared with you my story. When God moved us to Abuja, I was praying and trusting God for direction. And God told me, 
like he did Abraham get the map of Abuja get the map of Nigeria get the map of Africa get the map of the world and he says start praying with those maps so every time I'm praying I will place those maps four of them I still have them till today and lay my hands one day something happened to me I looked at the map of Abuja and it became small very small the city just became it's like it just shrunk and it became small I knew a miracle had happened I knew Koinonia was ready to start because that reality of territorial dominion for the sake of his majesty that's what happened hallelujah but every once in a while not every time I revisit those maps again and now that God is sending us to the nations I carry that map of the world sometimes and I look at it and I look at the continents from the eyes of the Creator not from the eyes of an inhabitant you can't see that far but when you stand with the Creator's lens you will see that there is no nation you cannot conquer men like John Knox saw this and they said God give me Scotland not a community give me that territory listen when you do this you can see great things you can put your businesses and say by God's grace I will have a global business for the kingdom people will laugh at you it's, it's not an attack it's a usual thing with men men are permitted to laugh until your result bail you out provided you have not produced result don't be angry that men laugh and mock mockers are a natural pathway to greatness if you don't find them you're on the wrong path their presence validates that you might be doing something right so you continue but when you emerge you get that thing to your consciousness you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you hallelujah my dear friend pastor Shola when his church got born we went for a conference in his church and pastor Poju said something just a, a brief session before I came up to preach and he said something within a few minutes but it was such a profound blessing he told the church then he said take away the memory from your mind of a bond church and see a great church that God is building as simple as that statement was I said this is it the Spirit of God quickened that statement while we look not at the things that are seen you have been seeing your disappointment every time you look at your passport you remember the visa you didn't get you look at the situation and you see yourself as a beggar forever you see yourself as a weak man of God in competition with other men of God or getting angry that is the reason why it keeps you like that you need to wipe that vision out of your mind you must have control over your meditation finally brethren Philippians chapter 4 I believe in verse 8 whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise koinonia help me think on these things anything that is outside this list the Bible is giving you an advice that meditating on them is a risk to your destiny.